Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? <clears throat> you want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. For round two. Forty-seven. What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. Final round. Stakes are high. for sharks. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. <laughs> this one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? <laughs> seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, as Shane at the bar, 
that big guy Gene who comes around for dinner. Uh, Kyle. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. I didn't say I could. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey, what about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I, I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Whoa, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? The cops. They think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it, but I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and now they think... Uh... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? You know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <laughs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's Dean. 
dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so... <gasps> Hello? Who who's there? Sorry, sorry. You you can... Uh... <sighs> Jesus. I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost Tyler. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower... A... Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons... What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce's kid. The little boy your son left without a mama. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. I thought you'd be over the border by now. It all turned to shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. He took a stand so I could take a chance. He's the only reason I got away. They'll try to break him, but he won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay... At least he got away, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. 
All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? I don't go poking around in other people's lives, and neither should you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well... I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Been telling myself the same thing for 20 years. Never thought you'd say it, though. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I- if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. And this help you need, does it help me too? Of course it does. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. (sighs) The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback, call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you said it yourself. We should have been together from the start. And I'm saying this is our second chance. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Because it's me. Open up. Shit. It's Dante. Huh? 
Oh. Fancy seeing you here. Does anyone know where you went? No, of course not. Who would I tell? I don't know. Your dad? <laughs> yeah, right. He's literally the last person I would tell. He thinks I'm in finals all day. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble, I couldn't help him. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just... If you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. For 18 years, they told me a lie. Families are pretty good at that. Mine always was anyway. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. <gasps> That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that she needs to go to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What? doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it I mean? God, no! <laughs> Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life? Lying all the time? Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. 
know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. This is different, but I think it's these ones. Crazy. But I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. Ages ago, run away from home. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car, and it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish. Hike? Live in the forest? Only thing is, how to get in? Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Cigarettes? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Leave your house without saying goodbye? That was pretty terrible of you. I felt terrible. Well, you can make it up to me. How? I'll have to let you know. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But he'll help me. 
I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Can't come to the door. I'm... I'm sick. <coughs> sick, huh? Better not be drinking again. Come on, open up. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. Sorry. Hi. I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through. Right. Oh, they look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez, <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. And if I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Might take a, take a trip, see the world, live a little, you know? Yeah, live a little, huh? <laughs> well, if I weren't in the middle of this shit storm from hell, I'd be on the next greyhound behind you. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, to me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Uh -huh. Talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Oh. Guess not. Hey, you mind me asking, uh, why two glasses over there? Uh -huh. <sighs> what can I say, cuz? 
After last week, I've been drinking them all two at a time. I don't want to preach, but take it easy, huh? You won't find peace at the bottom of a vodka bottle. That's why I use the glasses. <laughs> so, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh-huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Mm. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm. <laughs> what a week. Hmm. But Sharon. She'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God. If you ask me, she's halfway across the country by now. Nah. Sneaking back to Two Rock is exactly the sort of thing she'd do. Could be right under our noses. Hey, you know we had history, right? Back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. <laughs> of course, she was much better looking back then. That's so. Because I always thought it was the other way around. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no. You got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch was crazy as shit. I've got some bullets in my time, cousin, but... <laughs> for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. No. Nuh-uh. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people... You don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? You have no idea how desperate she was. The money, the house, they lost it all. No, no, no. She's using you, Paul. Can't you see? I know she made you do this, Paul. Look. I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. 
We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can.
You're the last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will you give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? I'm her boyfriend. Who are you? You brought your boyfriend to my house? Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't run them all. One jealous fuck! Well, guess what? She was mine first! That's right! Walk away! Fucking pussy! Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him? He disrespected you. And I handled it. <sighs> Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should go find somewhere to sleep before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done. I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait, we shouldn't go too far from the car. Ugh. you robbed? Was that all it was? A burglary? Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And it wasn't just any house. It was Sheriff Romero's. 
I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Give me one reason not to. Back at the hotel, when you actually showed up, I couldn't believe it. But that's when I knew. Knew what? You really gonna make me say it? Well, I can't answer if I don't know what you're gonna say. <sighs> Fine. That's when I knew I was... You know... Vanessa... I'm in love with you. This has been the worst week of my life. But when we're together... Somehow, it's all okay. Look, I don't care what the police think you did, or what your family did. I came to Salt Lake today because I like you. And I don't like a lot of people. And I meant what I said before. <sighs> when you said you were heading for Canada. I thought, why not? Maybe I should go too. You did? I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform, helping Mima, waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. But violence? I just can't. So swear. Swear you'll never hurt someone like you hurt Todd tonight. I swear. Okay. Then I forgive you. Now, let's get some sleep. We've got a long day tomorrow. So... Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Two Rock over 150 years. It sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. The teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. 